So by now, I'm sure you're all very aware of the Zortrax M200. It's probably one of the most reliable desktop 3D printers out there. Um, it's had a lot of success and been well received throughout the 3D printing world. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you its big brother, uh, the new Zortrax M300. We've got it into our showroom now and we've got plenty to uh, send out to you. Um, we're going to unbox it, so um, let's take a look at what's inside. Right, so here is the massive box that the M300 comes in. Um, as you can see, quite a bit bigger than the older M200 here. Um, but let's get it unboxed. Um, I've already undone that, so just put this to one side. You'll need a hand to uh, transport this about and get it unboxed. It's definitely worth having a friend on hand to get this out. So in the top here, you've got um, a few accessories um, and the side covers. Just put that down. And then the machine itself is pretty large and does weigh quite a bit. So here it is. Um, as you can see, everything's basically contained within this plastic bag. Um, we'll get, get this off. Move that out of the way. And there are a few other accessories packaged within the main body of the 3D printer, um, as well as what we've got in this section here. Um, so if I show you now, so you've got your instructions here for setting up and unpackaging the printer. Just put those to one side. And then this top box contains your side covers and the door that goes on the front. And I'll just open that up to show you. So again, you get instructions for how to fit these. Um, they're pretty simple, they just clip on um, and you have a few um, tools uh, to align the hinges that come in with that. Um, and these can be discarded afterwards. They're actually one of the things that um, often get left on the older machines, which we've noticed, but um, yeah, you don't actually need to keep those on. Um, that's worth noting. So put that to one side for now. And there's your user documentation and some more brochures. And a power lead as well. You also get a European one, um, just in case. And then we have the starter kit. There's quite a few tools in here, um, which are really useful uh, for maintaining your printer and um, removing prints as well. So you've got the, the trusty scraper, which is particularly good, um, the Zortrax one. Um, a lot of them have a really blunt edge, but it's been purposely designed to have a nice um, chiseled edge on it to really get under those prints. You've got some Allen keys, um, some needles for um, unblocking the nozzle if that ever gets blocked, some lubricant for the axis rods, and here we've got an SD card reader which plugs into a USB port. Uh, we've also got these um, filament cutters which are really useful for um, installing a new spool. It's worth putting an angle on the, on the bit of filament that you insert just to make sure that it goes through nice and cleanly. There's also a useful um, utility knife. And yet another knife as well, which is really useful for cleaning up prints. Some tweezers. I mean, there's really loads of stuff here. Um, this is the tool for changing the nozzle over. You even get some safety goggles and a pair of gloves. Um, which may seem a little bit overkill, but we actually find these really useful um, just for ensuring that you don't catch your knuckles on the plate when you're removing it. And actually, something different in the M300, you get this really large scraper too. Um, you're obviously printing quite big things with this printer, so um, that will come in handy. And we'll put that over to one side. And now we'll take a look inside uh, the main body of the printer. So if we take a look at what we've got inside the printer, there are quite a few things packaged uh, within the frame. Um, it just helps uh, keep everything secure in transit. 
The first thing you'll need to do is to release these because they're usually um, quite tight under the build platform here, is to raise that up. And you can do that just by lifting it. It's not going to cause any, any uh, damage to the printer. You just need to be careful when you do it. Just do it gradually. And you'll need to lift it fairly high um, to release these uh, bits of polystyrene. So we'll bring that right up out of the way. Do it nice and slow. Right, and there we go. That's all the way at the top. There's a piece of cardboard there. And then take out this first piece. Uh, you get the new, newly designed spool holder which clips onto the back. And this can take a two kilogram um, spool of filament, uh, which is really useful if you're printing massive parts in this printer. Uh, it's worth noting as well that you can use the older, smaller spools. Um, you'll just need to print out a, a small spool adapter. And a few other parts. These are clips for the uh, extruder cable, I believe, which runs over the back. You just need to clip those onto the back. And then a couple here that, that will attach the um, printer tube onto the extruder cable. Um, this helps prolong the life of this. Uh, they are a little bit fragile, so you want to be careful um, that that doesn't get damaged at all. And here we go. This is the, so this is the tube that I was talking about that those clips fit onto. And this just runs from the printer head um, from the back, and the uh, filament will run through that to ensure it stays out of the way during printing. So we'll move those parts over to one side. The next part of uh, the polystyrene is just ensuring that the bed cable is kept protected. Again, this is a fairly fragile part, so um, be careful not to um, damage this at all while unpackaging. And we'll get rid of uh, this next part. It's a little bit fiddly to remove, but and you have got a two kilo spool in here, so it's a bit heavy. but it does just about fit through the front of the machine like this. So we slide that out. There's a small uh, indent there in the cardboard. It's just holding it in place. We slide it off. Eventually, there we go. Another piece of foam there we can just discard. And then we've got the build plate itself, which is a pretty substantial piece of kit. It weighs a fair bit. Um, you've got the heating surface on the underside here, and then the perforated top section. Um, these can be switched over um, if you ever need to. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's fairly similar to the older um, M200, and you've still got this small connector here, which you need to be careful of as well. Put that down up here, nice and safe. So this is the uh, two kilo spool I was talk talking about earlier, and you get Z hips in with the machine. There are a few other materials that you're able to print with, um, and we're promised that there are a lot more to be released uh, to be compatible with the M300. Um, you, need, you need materials with a low shrinkage rate, just where you're printing very large parts. Um, so that's something that is being highly developed at the moment across the board in 3D printers. Um, a few other things to point out on this printer. Um, very similar to the M200, you have the exact same um, screen and interface. Uh, you still print using an SD card, and one comes with the machine with a few preset files on. You can test out when you first get it. Uh, the hinges are pre-installed um, for the side covers, so the, um, the door will just clip onto there, and there's two magnets here as well, um, which hold it in place. But you need to make sure you remove all of these. Um, I mean, it's quite easy to see them all, um, so just make sure you remove them. There's four of those. 
And then this tape here, uh, once you've lowered the platform back down to fit your plate on, you can remove this tape, place the plate on top and connect up this cable here, just slots into the back of this plate. Um, it's a little bit more um, user friendly than the older one as the small connector is connected for you and so that should not need to be removed as frequently, which is a nice um, improvement because having to remove this small connector constantly um, is inevitably going to sort of cause uh, excessive wear on that. Um, so that shouldn't happen on this machine, which is good. And that is pretty much it. You've obviously got this massive build area, so um, you'll be printing some pretty amazing stuff, I'm sure, when you get hold of these. And um, at the exact same quality as the M200. Um, so we hope you enjoy. And if you want to buy one, you can just click on the link here. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.